In the last video, we learned about computed properties. We understood their usage and how they are more beneficial than data properties in the right scenarios. Towards the end, we learned about the example where we had to display the order total of the items in an array. We created a computed property called total, which computes the total price of the objects in the items array. We also created a button in the template to add a new item into the list. This helped us understand that computed properties are recalculated whenever their dependencies change. But we did end up with a question in our minds. It is possible to calculate the order total using a method and then call the method in the template inside the mustache syntax. Why then would we use a computed property? To help us answer that, let's take a look at an example. Since we already have the total computed property to display the total, let's define a method which serves the same purpose. So in the methods object, define a new function. Let's call this getTotal. It returns the exact same value as the computed property. So copy and paste it. Now let's bind it to the template. h2 tag method total and within the mustache syntax call the method get total. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see the total from the get total method. If I click on the add item button, both the computed property value and the get total method value are updated. What then is the difference between the two? Well, the difference is that computed properties are cached. This means if something independent of the computed property changes on the page and the UI is re-rendered, the cached result will be returned and the computed property will not be recalculated. This would improve the app performance by avoiding a potentially expensive operation. To understand this, let me add a text field and bind its data. So create another data property called country. In the template, add an input element and bind it to the country property using the vModel directive. So input type is equal to text, vModel is equal to country. Finally, in both the method and the computed property, add log statement. Get total method, total computed property. Let's now save the file and head back to the browser to understand the behavior. On page refresh, you can see the log statements from both the method and the computed property. If I click on the add item button, Again, we see both the logs. The method is run and the computed property is recalculated to update the value in the UI. Now, observe closely as we interact with the country text field. If I type a letter, you can see that the getTotal method is called whereas the computed property is not recalculated. If I finish typing India, which is a total of five letters, the getTotal method is called five times, whereas the computed property is never recalculated. This is the difference between computed properties and methods. If there is a change in the UI, which is independent of the computed property, view will reuse the already computed value instead of recalculating. A method, however, will always be called when there is a change in the UI. If you have a really expensive piece of logic, a computed property is definitely the better approach, keeping in mind the app's performance. All right, now that we have a clear picture of computed properties versus data properties and computed properties versus methods, with our newfound knowledge, let's revisit conditional list rendering in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.